Oh. How do you feel on your first day back at work? Scared. I just hope I haven't forgotten everything. Hey, you haven't forgotten anything. It's all right up there. Well, I certainly hope so. There are going to be some very surprised patients on that sixth floor. <laughs> do you have time for coffee? Oh, I wish I did. Well, I just thought we'd celebrate my return to work. How about later? I have a split of champagne in my refrigerator at home. Oh, you have, have you? Well, I bought it. For a victory drink with Seneca in case we won the case. Oh, Jill. You should have won. Well, should have doesn't count. Anyway, what about sharing it with me later, after work? Oh, thank you. We will toast my getting back to work and you're helping me get right there. Good. Never could have made it without your support. Faith, you did it. Nobody did it for you. I know, that's what I keep trying to tell myself. Those psychiatrists are teaching me to have a little faith in everything I do that's good for myself. At long last. Yeah. But I couldn't have made it without you. I know Daddy's death hit you very hard. And yet, not only didn't you crumble, but you were right there to pick me and prop me up. <laughs> Faith, listen to me. I wasn't being stalked and held prisoner by Kenneth. Oh, well, I'm just not paying any attention to that anymore. Good for you. <laughs> and where are you off to so early? County Medical Society hearing. This is the day they consider Seneca's case and whether or not to take action against him. This morning? Yep. Wish me good luck. I do. I do. Hey, Jill. Oh, everything's just gonna be fine. Oh, Faith, I don't know about that. Our dear brother Roger's done a real job on Seneca. I just have this awful feeling I'm gonna lose this case twice. Once in court and once today. Jill, is um, Seneca anything more than just a client? What do you mean? Well, you did catch the bouquet at Mary's wedding. <laughs> I wonder how Jack and Mary are doing drifting down the Mississippi on the riverboat. Don't change the subject. Ah. Well, he's, uh, he's nice. And I spent a lot of time with him talking about a lot of things. We're friends, but, uh... But? Well, when I wake up at 4.30 in the morning with an ache in the pit of my stomach, and a face in front of my eyes, it's not his. Frank. Yep. I'm just hoping it's a matter of time. Of course it is. <laughs> I'll tell you one good thing about Seneca. He makes me forget once in a while. Well, I am certainly glad somebody does. I think we have this kind of understanding, although we never discuss it. But we both know that we are keeping each other occupied. Him from brooding over Nell and me from getting depressed over Frank. Hey, Pat. Faith, you're back in your whites. <laughs> First day. <laughs> Good to have you back. Jill. Yeah. This just may be of use to you at the hearing today. It's a statement of support for Seneca, signed by every member of the neurology staff. Oh. Except one. Roger. Who yeah. else? Well, I don't know that this will help Seneca's case, but it'll certainly make him feel better. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. Who's, uh, whose idea was it? Mine. <laughs> well, I should have known that. Well, anyway, I've got to run. I'll see you two later. And, uh, pray. Yeah, good luck. Bye-bye, Jill. Bye-bye. Well, come on, doctor. Time to heal the sick. Um, Pat, could I talk to you for just a moment? Sure. Well, what about? 